Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you again for joining me on my N Walker playthrough. Last time was I, I can't remember enjoying a scene more. It was just breathtakingly beautiful and heartbreaking all at the same time. We found out that Vana did end up going through with her plans to and kind of sundered the world. I, I don't think she really wanted to do so. I think that that's the reason why she was wandering through Amarod. I think she was looking for maybe another alternative, something to change her mind, just anything that would prevent her from having to resort to sundering the world. But in the end, there really wasn't much other choice because her people have proven that they're their own worst enemies, more or less. So even if she did end up you know, sparing the world being sundered. It was only going to be a matter of time until our own nature ended up destroying us from the inside out. That's kind of the impression that I got from the whole thing. But, yeah, so she ended up sundering the world. We have our answers, at least a good portion of answers. And we finally were able to return to Charlian. We're back in the present. And the other scions are noticeably absent, save for Kryl and for Tataru, but apparently something bad has happened in our absence, which I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's just how it works. So we're going to be picking up where we left off. So here we are back in the annex. And I changed Claire's outfit. I'm not sure if I'll keep this particular outfit for now, but uh, let's just see what the next quest is. Okay, as the heavens burn, though you and Kryl both have news to share, hers is perhaps the more urgent. Oh no! What's going on now? So you have learned aught more of the final days? Then the journey was well worth the risk. No doubt your newfound knowledge will be a great boon to us all. Unfortunately, during your time on the first, events here have taken a turn for the worst. The Scions are running themselves ragged trying to contain the spread of blasphemies, but it's a losing battle. To try and ascertain the where and why of it, Alize and Alfino have been traveling all over. All of the regions they visited, Locas Amenores is one of the worst affected. Oh, Corvos. Thancred, Estinian, and Graha took a detachment of allied soldiers here to offer aid and succor to those in need. But the province is vast. They only managed to visit a handful of coastal villages. It was an accomplishment worth celebrating, still, but a drop in the bucket at best. In the meantime, Yastola and Master Matoya have been making a concerted effort to establish contact with Hydaelyn in the Ethereal Sea, but to no avail. As for Tataru and I, we've been keeping a close eye on the forum. From what we gather, they've been constructing a vessel to ferry people to the moon, an ambitious project that has likely been years, if not decades, in the making. However, since we've seen no sign of it thus far, I suspect it's still... incomplete. Oh no. You also recall the proposal issued by Master Fortuno to the people of Razid Han. Following the discussion, Vitra declared his support for the plan and urged those who wish to evacuate to accept the forum's invitation. So far, so good, but that's where things get a little strange. Apparently, the forum caught wind of the lunar teleporter in the Tower of Babel and decided to use it to deliver people to the moon instead of their mysterious ship. Therefore, to secure safe passage for the heinous refugees to the Tower, Alfino, Alize, Estinian, and Graha traveled to Golomol not long ago. Trouble is, the capital was hardly the safest place to begin with, and now... The final days have come to Golomob. Oh, the sky's burning over there then. Shortly after our friends arrived, they were sent to rendezvous with Master Fortuno. Then panic broke out and our communications were severed. With what fragments we were able to make out before the link shell went completely silent, we can only assume the phenomena has spread to the capital. The others need you, Claire. Please, you must help them. So we have to go back to Garlemal. Why? I did not enjoy it too much last time. Having you there would make all the difference, I'm sure of it. Camp Broken Glass was their first port of call, so you best start there. Hopefully Lucia will know where they are. There's no telling when, what you'll be walking into, so you'd best take every possible precaution. Well, I'm not sure if this is appropriate gear to wear in Gollum all. Up 
Be sure to let Thancred and Yastola know you're back. At least they're still responding to their link pearls. Pains me to send you off alone into unknown peril after you only just returned, but 12 willing, you won't be alone for long. Okay. Let's go. Do do do. Can't broken glass. I'm, I'm dreading how this is gonna look. I mean, the people there have pretty much been through hell and back it recently. First they lost their capital, most of their countrymen, freezing to death in the snow, and now this. Man, Gollum- I guess Gollum is just reaping what it sows through decades of oppression. But still, you can't help but feel bad for them. Yeah, we didn't even get a chance to tell them everything that happened. And... Yep. It's the dark sky there. Ooh, what's this? Stupid lag! I hate the stupid lag! Calm down. We'll deal with it. Just gotta wait. There we go, finally! Lucia! There, not a moment too soon. The skies over Gollum all are ablaze, but it's the events on the ground that concern me. As you well have heard, your fellow scions arrive ahead of you. We cut the customary greeting short after we received word from our troops on the Magna Glacius that the Forum's airship had landed. It was then that the heavens began to burn. I dispatch your friends at once to ensure the refugees come to no harm. I would have you join them immediately. Additional support is en route, but we will discuss them later. I trust you're ready to depart. Uh, just a moment. I feel like I need to change my outfit. Ooh! Okay, so we'll cut scenes. Uh, protect quiet position in battle, save the certain points. Okay. He's not if you enter the battle, associate with other guests. Okay. Okay, I just changed my gear to something really quick. And, I don't know. I just felt that it suited the whole thing. And, well, forget the Gollumal people. We now have the Hainish to worry about. <laughs> and they've been through some pretty rough times with the final days. And now, it, it, it's like they probably feel like they're cursed or something. Because no matter where they go, the skies are burning. <laughs> okay. Earlier in the Magna Glacius. I mean, I get their idea of sending them to the moon through the teleportal, but... Oh, no. This is terrible. No. 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 We were promised an escape. Not the same you who fled. Oh no. Ooh, they're just getting uglier and uglier. I shall not meet my final days here in this blasted waste. Calm yourselves. Your panic is our greatest enemy. How come they're not going after him? Come, we must build a line of defense. But they're not warriors, though. That's the problem. How? Leave the fighting to us, father. You must lead the people to safety. I can handle this pair. You shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. <laughs> As you wish, my little lord. <laughs> playing as Alphino again! That's been a long time. <laughs> Not since the end of Stormblood. 
Okay, I'm for it! Get the loading screen would just load! <laughs> this is torture! Okay! I have not had a chance to properly do Sage, so I guess it's just a warm-up for it. Prognosis. Uh, damage, damage. Much of a time. Okay, so that's damage. So these are the healers. Okay. So I know what to do. Yeah, I understand. I'm trying to read this. Let's do you first real quick. Okay, you're taken care of. Let's deal with you. Uh, diagnosis. Oh, no. Now protect the refugees. You're no fair! Stop jumping! Do this to me, help the wounded, it's all over- Oh no, they're transforming, they're transforming! Stop, please stop! Oh no! Oh, now the other two are starting to transform! Beatra's not gonna be happy about all this. And, oh, okay. Easy now. Deep breaths. At least they calm down. You're safe now. Oh, Vorsh knows over there, and he's healing them. Worry not for the refugees, but for yourself. Boy, having guns to refer to your own son by his name? Oh, it's Stinian. <laughs> he's ready to go. Oh, no. Oh, God. That, it's one of those things. Let the look of that stay sharp. I'm trying to! Take the lead, I'll provide support. Oh, here we go. This is what this is a tough one. Oh god, look. We're surrounded by bodies on all sides. Oh man, Thavnar. Poor Thavnar. <laughs> the heaps people have just been through hell and back. I really hate this design of these Terminus Idolizers, that's what they're called, really. Either way, I hate their designs, they're just so freaky. More bees, I only hope my newfound abilities are enough. And we're attached by bombs! Crap, this ain't gonna be fun. Okay, so it's just one at a time, well, I guess it could be worse. Just trying to heal a Stidian as fast as I can, but it's not easy. <laughs> Come on. Trying to get the hang of those things. <laughs> That's high praise coming from him. Oh no, turn away, turn away. Almost makes me want to unlock Sage. This is kind of fun. Uh. 
Finally! Okay, so we're all the way healed up with Justinian. For now. Alize's supposed to be around here too, right? I wonder where they are. We almost got it. Come on, there we go. I just keep hearing neighing of horses in the background. It's kind of annoying. Oh, that is freaky. At least she's gone, so. Okay, now what? They just keep coming. Oh no. And the army. <laughs> so, you've recovered then? In time enough to be of aid, but once. We can speak of it more later. For now, we must fight to repay your salvation in kind, or with better. <laughs> Poor Gallimald has her pride! You know, something tells me Gallimald's gonna be just fine. <laughs> of that I've no doubt. Saviors, the Imperial Army. Yeah, see what happens when you lend a helping hand? Oh, there they are. I had hoped to take all of them down at once. Think a withdrawal might be in order? Oh, sod that. <laughs> you know who would never abandon these people to their fate? <laughs> to be devoured by their former friends. That'd be beyond cruel. These beasts must fall here and now. Well then, I'd say it's high time we threw caution to the winds. They're rivals in love. <laughs> I can't help but think of that. The heroic sacrifices. Now, let's go. Okay, we're playing as Alize now. <laughs> oh, I swear, like anyone with eyes can see that they both have the biggest crushes on the Warrior of Light. Stupid many already, Graha with me. Okay. Which one do I want to kill first? Let's go with that one. He looks the biggest. Oh look, we got the gar the Imperial Army fighting around them. That is neat. Ah, uh, everyone's getting along. That's so nice to see. If only the end of the world wasn't happening. And oh my god, is there no way to break the chain of transformations? Yeah, there is. Kill them all. Kill them all, and then once the people stop panicking, they'll calm down. Uh, 
Oh, more. Alright. I feel I can't have to feel like we're stuck with cleanup duty. Oh, it's her again. Oh, he used break. Stopped it dead in its tracks. Watch out, Ellie. Say this one is not like the rest. Okay, so here's a stubborn one then. Yeah, this is fun! Oh great! We're having more meteors! <sighs> the other side. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like meteors. I don't like them. Our chance. I'm not done yet. this now. Yeah, crackles with energy. Find cover. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. I I'm just sticking with Graha. Okay. Oop, move over here. I see how you work. This one. The last one. I hope so. Okay. So I wonder who we're playing as next. My money's on the Stinian. <laughs> All right. Everything good? not the barest trace of ether. Maybe there really is no way to bring them back. Thank you for saving our lives once again. I remember you from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, you're from Palakar Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. Or you will be, once I see to that injury of yours. Look out! Oh no. <gasps> oh. It's the same, same, it's the same as the trailer! Oh! <laughs> that was not what I was expecting! 
Get out of here. Quickly. Oh man, that was the warrior of light who was supposed to do that. <laughs> I won't lose them. Not a one. This will be a brighter future. I won't let a madman's apocalypse ruin everything we've fought to achieve. up to our champion but we ask too much of her as it is you mustn't let our sword in the darkness fight alone that's so sweet there you are Claire what took you <laughs> oh, let's just be nice. Let's be nice. <laughs> I can look after myself. You know. <laughs> of course, she says that. And she knows that Claire hurt her. <laughs> Everything's in order. I trust. It's good to be back in our own bodies. In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, trio for the ages. <laughs> oh, he's loving this now. <laughs> so am I. Get out, get out. Oh. Let's do here first. Damn. That's fine. <sighs> this is why they need to have healing abilities for each of the tanks. And I'm not like clemency. Clemency is a fantastic spell. With its dying breath, it curses us. Oh, that thing. I had a feeling I'd find you. <laughs> hey, hey. This should be the last of the worst troublemakers. With me. I hate these things. They're so ugly. You look to see the safety. Let's keep the beast at bay. What do you think we're trying to do? No, no, that's right. These things are good with gravity. Where do I go? Oh, okay. Oh, no. I had no idea what that was about, but I'll go in. Okay. Alfie, don't do something stupid and get me wiped out. It looked like he was following us.
protect Alpha now. Well, he can heal, so he'll be fine. They barely standing. She says as Alpha no heals her. <gasps> Duty complete! Yes! That was so tiring. I'm beat. So weird not having them on our side. You must board without delay. The ship will depart ere long. Your offer to host us in Charlian is most appreciated. But will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Your hesitation is not unwarranted. The Satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise is that I will do all in my power to protect you. I remember her. That power is not inconsiderable. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Join us on our journey there, and beyond, to new horizons. Come to old Charlian. Please. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. Seems they've a new destination. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more, short though it may be. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Yes. Well. Behind you! Just there! Oh no. Oh no. More of them. They just never end. Oh, don't tell me. No! <laughs> Why is he here? Oh God! Xenos. Like we don't have enough yeah. problems. You'll be all right. Hurry to the airship.
Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. Twas ripe for the slaying. Of course. Poor sport, alas. Unfit to temper my blade. Oh, for the love of... You cannot still be on about a rematch. Hey, that's what obsessions do to you. That is and has ever been my sole concern. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. Your passion pales before mine, yet neither hate nor despair seem sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. So I hone my blade and I wait. He's finally like, ah, screw you. If you're not going to pay attention to me, I'm not going to try. That's it. That's <laughs> all you care about. Oh. Oh, no. Garlemald is in ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. Along with so many of its people. Not just soldiers like us, not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. While we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. The Eorzeans tell me all this was your doing! You slaughtered your countrymen! You did! For what? For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. You... You bastard! For your own sake, Eulus, you must control your anger. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed. <laughs> Would you be happier had I a good reason? What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put to proof. Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends? Yet you would ask me why. Ask any creature of this star and those above for answers, and they will tell you what suits their fancy. And they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you and you alone. Wow. He went ahead and answered Hermes's question, didn't he? Should you seek it in battle in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come. Assume your rightful place as a notch on my blade. Light on the Garlean race, and there would be no more satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death.
but I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! Xenos! Elise, be careful. Perhaps you found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. You will never get what you want, not even the battle you pine for so dearly. You'll be alone for an eternity, and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. I don't think they got through to him. I don't think anything could. And the whole thing's so interesting. We're ready to depart. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. There's room enough for you to join me on it, if you wish. <laughs> Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. We appreciate the offer. But might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garnemold ere we return to Charlian. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabad contingent. Allow us to accompany you then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. He'll be after your seat on the forum next. <laughs> Come on, man, like, crack a smile or something. You're really starting to drag me down. I don't think we've seen him smile once, like, not since his little trip to Ga to uh, Gridania and he ended up leaving very quickly. <sighs> okay. Let's see what they all have to say. Though there will be time later to discuss your journey to the first, there is one thing I must ask. Did you perchance speak with our friends in the Crystarium? Yes. Damn lag. Lena and Belug both warned me against overexerting myself. Strange that they would express such similar sentiments. Identical, in fact, but their advice is duly noted. They care about you, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Oh, look! It's the player! <laughs> A little surprising there. Okay. 
I like the armor, though. Where's that armor from? Oh, it's not the new armor. Never mind. Couldn't save them all, but if we had arrived any later, it would have been a massacre. Things were looking bleak until you and the first turned up. But the final day should manifest here, too, after everything these people have suffered. It's a fate beyond, cruel beyond words. Nevertheless, with allies old and new at our side, there is yet reason to be hopeful. It's been a while since last we spoke. For some time, I was not myself. You see, any others told me what happened that night about the events that took place while I was receiving treatment. It was only then that I realized the lengths you and yours go to. I know I might never be able to repay you, but I'll be damned if I don't try. Most of all, I want to thank you, all of you, for everything you've done and continue to do so for the sake of my people. You see, he's a good guy after all. This is the contingent base of operations, I take it? Well, Kurt as always. At the very least, I'm glad our own members are accounted for. To see Zeno standing there, so uncaring and unrepentant. Gods, I don't know what came over me. I just blurted out the first thing that came to mind, but looking back on it, I stand by those words. I would say I hope they don't incite him to further villainy, but to be honest, I doubt he even remembers what I said. Anyway, enough about all that. It's good to see you again. Okay! So what's the next one? So the next one's from Lucia, but I think we'll call it there real quick. I have somewhere else I'm going to have to be in a minute. But the next quest is called Outside Help. So yes, we'll cut it there for right now. Uh, put out the next one as soon as I can. So yeah, uh, that, that was a lot of fun for me. I mean, I love the instance duty. We got to fight as the twins. We got to kill a bunch of blasphemies. Uh, I'm a little bit annoyed that it wasn't the Warrior of Light who stepped in to save Alize because I was kind of hoping that would happen. And then... <laughs> I don't know. Like, we saw it in the trailer and that the Warrior of Light stepped in, saved Alize at that moment, and I was really expecting them to step in that time, but no, it was Graha, so what can you do? But more than anything, I'm really surprised by, well, maybe I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised, but uh, Xenos went ahead and answered Hermes' question, like, right then and there. Like, he's the first person to really come out and just say like what the reason for living is it's like everyone is different it's like everyone has their own reasons for living and that's entirely their right so yeah maybe he should have spoken to hermes way back then i mean he, i know he spoke to fan daniel but I, I guess it just didn't stick oh well what can you do anyway everyone thank you so much for watching that was a lot of fun i'm I suspect that we'll be heading back to Charlie and after this whole mess, so I'm expecting us to be heading back there to Labyrinthos. And I don't know, maybe we'll help them get their ship ready or something. I'm, I'm that's what I'm guessing. Like maybe we, everyone feels like they have to, you know, it's a backup plan, so they have to be ready for that. So where we go to after this, I do not know. I honestly don't know. I mean. It, uh, they did mention Yastola and Matoya, so we might end up paying a visit to Matoya's cave real quick and see if we can get somehow back into the anti-tower or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. I'm sure we'll find out. But, yes, thank you again for watching. This is Fantasy Girl signing out.